Welcome to the loop. Everybody. Hello. Hi. Our audience sound isn't working tonight, so we're just we're Aww. just making noises. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what? If sounds our audience like, made the sound themselves, that's right. They'd each get their own little oh, the batter, like, flavor. The battery is just starting back oh, up. Oh, it's in so time. So give me another another like minute, and then we can get that audience sound here. Uh, but this is the loop. Welcome. We are here to talk about games, mm -hmm. games, and probably nothing but games. Eric is not here. Um, Kuipers is trying to usurp over here and, and mm. sit in his spot. Uh, and You should be running the show, Kuipers. I, I, um, well, you just kind of no. stole the show from me there. No, the I mean, you should be, like, running the, the computer. I mean, how are oh. we going to make this ship float oh, if you're, you're not running the computer? Yeah, you're, you're right. not Eric for the night. Yeah. That's not how this works. <laughs> just because you're sitting in that <laughs> chair doesn't make you Eric You're the still night. the intern. Dang you it. are the intern. Uh, to my immediate right is Jeremy. It's me. And then further down that way is Trevor. I'm Trevor. He likes to, he likes to play video games, don't you? Yeah. 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 So that's what we're, we're going to talk about, right? Games? Yeah. Games. I know Jeremy was playing games when we got oh, here. Oh, man. Oh, Subnautica is so good, guys. Subnautica. You don't even know. I do, actually. So though. good. <laughs> kind you're of. You're right. I don't agree. agree. <laughs> it's so addictive. Oh, but it's so... It's such... It. I don't even want to give away some of the stuff that's going on in the game because when I first started playing the game, I purposely didn't like watch any preview stuff to get an idea of the of the actual story and stuff like that right and i just keep getting surprised going you know i thought this was like an underwater version of no man's sky but then i'm like this is what no man's sky wanted to be but couldn't figure out how to do and then i was like wait a minute this is even crazier than that so ton of fun so there's a lot of story and kuipers you suck you're welcome <laughs> yeah because Tell playing the game, in comes Kuipers to get ready for the show tonight. Yep. And, of course, I have to, he's like, oh, you playing some Nautica? I was like, yeah, check it out, you know. And I'm, I'm like, searching this crash site, uh, and I've got my little submarine next to me, and I'm mm -hmm. way too far underwater to go back up for air. And I'm just, you know, tooling around, showing him stuff. And, of course, they don't pay attention to the warning saying I'm running out of oxygen in time because uh, Kuiper's uh, asking me questions. Uh, and then that... And I'm like, oh no! When I have like nine seconds of air left and 30 meters to go to get back to my submarine and... Uh, I died. And I lost everything and now my sub is like way away from me and I'm at my base and <laughs> Kuiper's, you suck. Did you, did you <laughs> manage to get it all taken care of? Or are you still... Did you have to save? I it built. Like that? I built a new sub. I just left that sub over there, and built a new sub. And then, did, I mean, was there stuff in that sub? No. Okay. The sub just you get in the sub. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't have any storage added to that sub uh, yet. Okay. So I'm okay. okay. So you didn't but, lose anything. But I figured worst case, I could use that new sub to go get another sub. I don't know. Right. But all these thanks, sub Kipers. talks make you hungry. Sub, sub. Anyway, great game. Check it out if you haven't. It's fairly inexpensive. I just can't believe. For under thirty dollars, you can get a game with that much that's in it, and that's so. it's full release on PC, right? Correct. And correct. then it's in early access on Xbox. Is it in early access on PS4? No, I don't no, think no, it is. no. Okay. It's just it's just Xbox. A, is yeah. it just Windows? At, right now, I right think now. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, cool. And then and then he made you quit, right? Well, I had to quit for the show. So. But I mean, he made you quit like five minutes earlier. Well, of course, because he, he had to use my chair. Had to use the chair. Mm. Couldn't use Derek's cause chair. Cause all kinds of problems. Kuipers. How Kuipers. dare he? Anyway, that's all I've been playing. To be honest, all week. That's all it. week. It's all I've played. How about you, Trevor? I have been playing a lot of Ale. Monster Hunter. Ale. Ale. Of Monster no, Hunter. Monster Hunter. Yeah, I've been I've been killing the monsters. Lots of them. 
you're one of those that actually likes that game, right? I ha- haven't love that quit game. on it or given up. No, I I love it. I I've been a long time. Well, to be fair, I don't think that I know Eric was tweeting <laughs> about giving up on the game. He he hasn't yet. Yeah, I don't. Think, um, I think you know, there's he's, been quite a few people though getting frustrated with yeah, it. I, yeah, I, I agree, I'm sure there's a there's a lot of people that are that are frustrated with it. I mean, myself included. Um, it's one of those uh, one of those things that the the game itself is just almost. There's not a lot of tutorial that is thrown in there uh-uh. to to help somebody that is not a part of this game, um, and that was something I I played with Trevor last night, and it was playing with him he's saying all these things and i'm like i have no idea trevor was, what yeah, you're was talking playing about. like i play with you guys then <laughs> well yeah but the the difference is i mean a lot of times he knew with, what he was talking about a lot of times with those games <laughs> yeah, uh, that a little bit a little bit, you usually know what you're talking about though yeah. uh it's just that we've already figured all that stuff out when your, you're telling us all that your help comes the, uns- unsolicited right the difference is <laughs> the difference is in this game he wasn't even at times trying to help he was just saying things and i'm like i have no idea what that is and I, i'm lost like yeah. what do i need to do trevi yeah. says guys you gotta send me an invite or something i'm not very proactive about the multiplayer stuff and i'm guessing he get wants proactive to play Trevor. play the game with you um isn't that kind of what was so special about Monster Hunter Worlds, that it's meant to be more... Yeah, Trevor. Not really. I, I enjoy it just as much playing single player. And I'm, I'm always in a no, but that's, single player No, but that's supposed to be the big allure of the of the new one. No, they've always had multiplayer. I mean, they have, but it's like, wasn't that kind of a bit bigger selling point for this one? Kind of. Kind Not of, really. I don't want to admit it. No, it wasn't really. <laughs> I mean, it, it was. I mean, it was as much as any Hyper's other. Just getting spicy. Any other here. Monster Hunter game, but I mean, it's not really. I don't know. It's. I suppose it's a little better implemented this time, but it's always been there. So, but yeah, I don't know. It's. I've. They, there's a lot of things that game doesn't really do a good job of telling you that they exist. And so you don't even know what questions to ask is part of the problem. Mm. Um, and so I'm hoping uh, I've got some some helpful information later on that Ooh. I hope might be able to uh, answer some or give you some questions to ask. Some cool. questions to ask. So you're not yeah. actually even giving us answers? Well, I'm going to be giving you answers, but... Um, they will probably spawn more questions, as is the nature of that game. <laughs> okay, all right. But okay. yeah, I love that game so much. I've been I've been running with the bow a lot. I've got a few different bows that I work on. Um. Yeah, and I I do a little bit of this with Jacks to run. <laughs> Slamming on the. He, how yeah. is that again? <laughs> yeah. Can you? Do, yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. No, okay. Yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's such a fun game, and I just I love the depth of it. I love the uh, just the the how it works, where you're just killing these monsters, and then you get to build stuff. I think that the I stuff, think yeah. that the biggest problem with this is that, uh, and as far as somebody that's that's not been a part of this game series, is when you come into it, and it's a game that's called Monster Hunter. Mm-hmm. With most games, you feel like you're supposed to be doing somebody the... special in the game, right? You are, yeah. are somebody that is supposed to be able to do certain things that a normal person wouldn't be able to do, right? So you're the you're the person that's the superhero. You're the, I mean... Yeah, it, well, yeah, you're the hero of the game. Yeah. That's, you yeah. win. That's the plan. Exactly. So with this, it, and I saw an article that, that was talking about how really you're just a dude that's doing his job. Like, his everyday job. There's not really a whole lot that's special about him. Even though they make a, a little bit of a big deal about how special you seem to be at hunting monsters. And all of the, the cut scenes, you look amazing. And you have all these <laughs> sweet moves that you're, like, dodging out of the way and, and hitting that first attack on a monster. And then you but take But you can't control. do it for real. You can't do any <laughs> uh, of that stuff for real. What do I do? And you literally... I mean, the, the thing yeah. is, it's it's a uh, the pacing of it is not like a lot of games where mm-hmm. you would go and you would think that you'd be able to kill this monster like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
you're literally hacking at this thing for for at minimum ten minutes when you're fighting any of the the larger monsters. Yeah. It's it's so, slow and methodical. <laughs> yeah. So if I mean if you're somebody who has not played this and you're thinking about playing it, that's something that's really good to know. Yeah. Keep and it I in didn't. Mind. I I did. I did, and I didn't know that going into it. So I was thinking that that would be something that eventually I may get to where you're you're fighting this where monster you feel for like a half hour. Yeah. 40 minutes, like <laughs> near the end game, not something that two missions in, you are fighting somebody and you have a 50 minute time limit. If you die three times during the course of the, the fight, it wipes everything that you've done, um, which is extremely frustrating, especially early on. It's It feels super punishing if yeah. you don't know what you're doing and you're just trying to learn the lay of the, the game. There's yeah. not a lot of wiggle room for, for being able to make any mistakes. So... I, I and I, honestly, I think it would be a game that you would probably get into, Jeremy. I think that with I think that's why I haven't. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with with the amount of systems and all the different things that you can you can tool down on and and figure out how it all works and, yeah. and upgrade everything, I think it would be a game that you really would would love to play. Maybe uh, when you're you all 100 percent tired of it, I'll jump Maybe. in, and then I'll act like everything's brand new and like, hey, did you guys oh, know this? Did you know you can do this? Did you? And you'd be like. Yes, Jeremy. Um, I yeah. One of the thing that I really liked about this game too is it's it's kind of what Destiny wanted to be in some ways. Because I remember way back when when they were talking about Destiny, um, Destiny One, the original, when they were before they before it launched, before the alpha, before everything, they were talking about they wanted the armor you had to tell a story of where you'd been, and it didn't end up being that way because it was mainly just everybody used pretty much the same stuff. Yeah. Um, which was really too bad. But I, I feel like this game is a lot more of that, where, you know, the armor you have tells of, you know, what you fought, what you tend to uh, do more, and I don't know. It's just, I, I really like the way this game works, and it's just, it's so fun. Cool. <laughs> and I could spend hours and hours and hours and hours. Just. How many hours do you have on the game so far? <sighs> like 35 so far. So, yeah, I've played it. A bit since it came out. <laughs> Just I, a little bit. Yeah. I know someone who's put in 100 hours into it. So oh, good grief. Yeah. Yep. Yikes. <laughs> yep. That. It is a good game, though. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, and, and I, think, I think it is a game that very much is for a specific segment of players. Yeah. I don't think it's a game that's, that's open for everybody. As much as they've tried to advertise it that way, and and kind of say that they've simplified a lot of things or or if some yeah. things. Um, if this is the simplified some things, I, I, like I don't even know how people got into this series to begin with. Um, like just That's some of the some of the confusion <laughs> and whatnot that I have, uh, especially since it just doesn't feel like it follows a lot of logic that other games no. have, especially from yeah. the beginning of the game. Yeah, like I I don't even the that series can be refreshing though I guess. That's what know? like. It's funny to talk yes about. Yes no, yeah. Because the the old games were, like, really, really crazy. Like, it's 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 weird to think about, because this game is not very approachable at times. And it can be a little, I can't think of the word now, but, like, uh, kind of annoying in some ways. Just, like, some of the things. Yeah, a little off-putting, a little bit, like, yep. counterintuitive. But the, like, the old games were, yep. like... They, I, I, I don't know how I managed to love them so much, but they, they were just so much fun. But they were so, like, different things. Like you couldn't, like, like so the new one they have the expeditions things where you can just go out and go explore and stuff, and you don't have a time limit, you don't have a specific objective. The right. old ones that was never true. You always had to be on a mission. You were always under a time crunch, and. Yeah. Well, and then also one more thing too. I won't go through all of them, but uh, you you didn't have just a thing that pretty much automatic automatically tracked the monsters like you did. You had to go find the monster. Then, if you wanted to have the the monster on the mini map, um, you had to throw a paintball at him, and that wasn't even permanent. That that only lasted a little bit, and so you had to just manually follow this thing around. And Jeez. and you had to load wow. through different segments because it was mostly for uh, like lower power systems, and to where these big open worlds that they have now were like probably like eight different segments of a map that you had to load into every time you went to a different one. It was 
I don't know. It, it still was fun, but yeah, it was harder to love. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It, it seems like it's something that that I mean, it, there's a lot of really good things involved with it mm-hmm. um but it seems like there's a lot of stuff that that is just so complicated <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. convoluted for somebody that's not new to the series so i mean i think i think if you are new to the series and i saw eric tweeting earlier today that really the only way that he wants to play it is in multiplayer yeah, um, yeah. because it just seems like it flows a lot better in multiplayer than when you're by yourself it does um, i can understand that well and it's it's I like what they've done though, because your palico, your your cat that goes with you, uh, yeah, does a good job of like, because otherwise sometimes <laughs> I can't imagine fighting them without it, because it just they just be constantly going after you, and sometimes especially right. with the faster ones that'd be really really hard to manage, but yeah, with two players then you've got uh, both people and then the, the palicos too, so you pretty much have four players, ish, so it's pretty nice, right? So it, it's. It's a lot of fun if you if you figure some of the stuff out. Um, yeah, I, I mean I'm not I haven't given up on it yet. I think if it was something um, that there were more games that were drawing my attention in the next month, um, <laughs> yeah. I, I probably would be set it down. <laughs> yeah, I I probably would have already had so it. So maybe set they back. picked a really good time to release it. I, yeah. I think so because I mean I think the next thing that that at least is really on my radar as far as games that I'm really excited to play uh, is Far Cry, and that's at the end of next month. So yeah. there's there's enough time that I um, I feel like I can I can hold off and, and give it a little more breathing time to see if I can get further into it, but I don't know. It, it may not be something that I stick with just because it, it just may not be a game that's yeah. quite for me. But, I mean, definitely after playing last night with you, I feel like I've got a better idea of what I'm doing. And that's, yeah, that's what so. the thing is, just, like, it's it's good to be able to play with somebody that knows more stuff, because then, then they can introduce you to more things, and, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> I just happen to be lucky and know most of the stuff, or, or a lot of the stuff, that, that's the basics, so. Well, Kuiper, since you're on yeah. screen, hey, have you been playing any games? Skyrim? I, I played the fifth. Just guessing. <laughs> All right. Well, I pl- okay. I played a little Skyrim story though. This week. I did try actually playing something different on my PlayStation Three, and it wouldn't play it. <laughs> like it is only lets me play Skyrim now, so <laughs> I have an excuse. That's it's legitimate. Skyrim Your system. Skyrim <laughs> console. It's my Skyrim box. Yeah. Plus deep Blu-ray player. That's funny. All right. Shall we? Very uh, suspicious. Should we get into games of the week? Yeah. Let's do it. Games of the week. We know you can't wait to get your grubby little hands on them. All right, first game we got here, Civilization VI, Rise and Fall. It's an expansion pack out on PC, February 8th. Uh, Dragon Quest, I don't know much about the other game, so I'm not going to talk about it. Dragon Quest Builders coming on the Switch. That's already been out for the for a couple of things, It's been out for the PlayStation 4, the uh, PlayStation Vita. The 3, I think, even. Yeah. Oh, for the three as well. Yeah. Eric loved this game. I think he, I I think he did a it. stream of it at one it? point. Oh, okay. I think so. I think that so, was a that was a long that time ago. That was a long time ago. But anyway, that's coming out on the Switch. That I think the Switch would be a good fit for this game. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah. out on February 9th. So um give that a shot if you haven't yet. Uh the next one, the Seven Deadly Sins Knights of Britannia. Anyone know uh, anything uh, about these? Nope. I mean, that kind of yeah. looks like a I don't know. I know it's based off of an anime of the same title. Okay. Yeah. But that's about it. All right. Well, that's PS4 February 9th. Uh, if you're into that kind of some of the, uh, some of the screens look kind of interesting. 3D art style. I the don't art know. Star- that looks. I mean, that looks pretty. It's not. Yeah, it does. But it definitely has that separation of yeah. styles, foreground, background. So interesting. Yeah. Uh, next one we got here: Under Night in Birth. I don't know. It's something, something, something. something. So <laughs> PS4, PS3, it's the Vita title, you know, so everyone who has that can get that on February 9th. Uh, next one, Destiny Warriors 9. Dynasty. Dynasty. Well, Dyna- that thing. <laughs> Dynasty. I should you read these correctly. You just want to play Destiny, don't you? Yeah. That, there's nine of these, guys. Uh, uh, PS4, well, Xbox not, One. Actually, there's more than nine. There's that, probably, yeah, that's yeah. not even including the Empires or Extreme Legends of them either. Yeah, and the you Warriors guys, series is different. You guys here. embarrass yourselves. Uh, You're welcome. <laughs> PS4, I Xbox I One. Them, I just know them. <laughs> and PC on February 13th. 
We've got all the rest of these are going to be on February 13th. So that's the big day for games here. We've got the Fall 2 Unbound. That one, I don't know. That are, that looks interesting. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks interesting. I don't remember what the screenshots Maybe, were. Makes yeah. me think of the day after tomorrow. Yeah, Can I, I mean, if you look at the that. reflection, there's like a girl and a, and a robot, a robot and an alien, robot. maybe, or a robot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it I'm looks, guessing you're the guy like in the it, suit. It may be very Japanese. Yeah, it might be. Its, I don't know. It does say I, it's I part like, two, so. It just kind of reminds me of like like some of the Resident Evil games, <laughs> like the older Resident Evil games and, and whatnot. I can see that, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. so that's PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Uh, then we've got Kingdom Come Deliverance. This game actually looks like it <laughs> potentially could have some some interesting I, stuff this involved is, in it. This is actually one I I got into for early access, and I've played. Do you like it? I haven't played the full game. I played a little bit of it way back when, when it was more of just a tech demo kind of stuff. What's the What's the premise? Is this like the it's, battlefield type? planning no, no. it's an rpg okay. but it's it's kind of like skyrim with no magic so like um, mountain it's, blade it's supposed to be something kind of. that is like for like an actual uh simulation like you were in uh, it's 1403 i believe is the time period yeah. And so they went through and they they've tried to make it as historically accurate as possible. Oh, that sounds So they went and like found yeah. like old maps and and Ooh. whatever type of building stuff that they could find from that time period on okay. record. Mm -hmm. And they built everything in the game as close to accurately for that time period as possible. Um I don't know. I got sucked into watching a, a like a 10-minute video about it a, a couple yeah. weeks ago and it was just like I was like Semi fascinated because you're just looking at this like, oh, you're you're playing with a sword and it's supposed to be really challenging to use. So this the sword. would be like mm -hmm. if Call of Duty, what decided? <laughs> Except that, that it's, I think it's all single player. Oh, okay, single player all open single world. player. So all right, open okay. world. They the other thing, the one thing that really stood out to me is like if you put on your armor. To make sure that you're you're protected. You walk slower and stuff. Well, yeah, I mean you're gonna walk slower, but you also have like you can put on the helmet, but then it it like blacks like real out. like what you're it, gonna like, see blacks out everything but like a bar across your face like you would with one of those oh. okay. one of those helmets. Okay, that's well, actually so, kind of cool. Yeah, yeah so, so it like obstructs like your vision game. just like a just like one of those helmets would. So they're like you could you could play without it. Um and uh, you could play with the helmet and and protect yourself, but it's going to obstruct your view as a, well. Is this a new, uh, like IP IP or is this yeah it's new yeah. <laughs> I might I might have to check out a video of that that looks interesting. Interesting um, as well. enough. Uh, the company had some collaboration with a certain company making a certain Star Citizen game. Oh, so you're saying <laughs> this, oh, you suck. You're saying that. This company is so, better because they actually released a game. No, <laughs> I'm saying that. Or, I'm it. saying that this, this, the uh, people making Star Citizen helped them with a the cry. Oh, engine. that's why. Oh. Star, so you're saying that's why Star Citizen is not. They're delayed a, because a they were busy game. helping these they guys. Were, they were making some money on the side. What? No. The, what? No. They were just. They weren't. They're not focused. They weren't solely focused on Star, on Citizen. Yeah, Star Citizen. Exactly. Yeah, they took your hard-earned money, <laughs> and they said, "Hold, pump, pump the brakes. We got to work on this." Yeah, we got to get deliverance, deliverance out. Yeah, got to get deliverance. So then we can talk about Star Citizen. <laughs> <sighs> All right, enough picking on Trevor until we find another reason. Uh, Owl Boy coming out PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Uh, if you've not heard this game, you probably don't follow games much. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you, are you saying that I Jeremy guess and half I the tub has no idea why there's a leprechaun on, uh, uh, on this thing with Owl, Owl Boy, Boy is, that looks uh, like a that was rabbit. a really smug thing to say, Trevor. Owl Boy has been released a dozen times over. <laughs> so has Skyrim. Still looks like a bad game. <laughs> so I would It's wouldn't a platformer. Know. It's it's kind of got indie charm to it. A lot of people. Oh, so Trevor hates this it. game because it's a platformer. No, I like some platformers. But it's Little got, Big it, Planet. Does it have That's Lucky Charms like. in it? Is that is that the platformers don't have to be two D? You know, <laughs> I, I thought that was Tingle, like oh. in Legend of Zelda. There you go. Oh, the guy in the leotard, mixed with like one of the the Mario <laughs> mushroom like guys with his hat. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next one, the longest five minutes out on 
Switch, Vita, and PC. Um, I'm not sure what this is. It's <laughs> pixel art, people. So yeah. that's all we know about it. And, and we're looking at the backs of, of these little kids' heads. I couldn't find heads. a better picture. <laughs> these uh, little kids, <laughs> they're you. staring they're off into this. Apparently the it, draws, draws, it draws a lot of comfort. Uh, they're looking at... Um, uh, they're looking at Disney's castle... Yep. Off in the distance. When you wish um, upon a star. Exactly. <laughs> makes no difference who you are. N- next game uh, is Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. This looks like... I was kind of shocked how this, good looking this game was. I was going to say, that doesn't look like a game. That looks like no. a photo from a, from a motocross yeah, race. It is a game. So. so And that's on pretty much everything. PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. When's your copy uh, coming, Jeremy? These are February 13th. <laughs> I still have to send back the Monster Truck game yet, so have you played um, it? maybe this will show up You know, when that's done. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> this definitely looks better than that monster. It, uh, if, it totally if, does. <laughs> if nothing else, this if that is actual gameplay footage, it's actual game that footage. game looks beautiful. Oh, it does. I looks was shocked. Yeah, very good. impressive. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of really impressive footage, there, screenshots. If there's monster trucks in this one, Jeremy, this is the monster truck game to get. Yeah, I think it's yeah. exactly. Across. Totally. Uh, last one again. These were February 13th coming out. The last one is for 3DS, Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Mm. That's another Sounds one of them <laughs> Japanese games. All right. <laughs> I think we should move into the news. Keeping you in the loop with the latest gaming news. First one out of Trusted Reviews exclusive, colon. Red Dead Redemption 2. Leak reveals Battle Royale, first person, and much more. Guys, uh, Trevor's excited. Is it October oh, yeah. yet? I'm excited. Is yeah. it October? Kyle's yet? excited. I was. I can't. I remember how many times I've. I said. Well, I've said it several times, I guess. But I. I was just like, they need to do a, a battle royale mode and and uh, Red Dead Redemption too. This. This make. And so. This is the perfect game to do it. Yes. Yeah. It's perfect. Well, the only thing that doesn't makes. I mean, that doesn't seem like it would add up with that type of mode is. What airplanes are they going to drop out? <laughs> no, you're going to no. It's going to be a train. It'll be a train. <laughs> oh, that well, is kind of I mean, interesting. But yeah. the problem with but the just, train is you'll always be on the same path. You just jump out. <laughs> but a train could be interesting. But you jump out, oh. and you got to go a long ways to find something. So you could either just try and punch somebody, or yeah, go run. Or it could be a stagecoach that could move any direction, I guess. But. Um, I guess we'll see. Yeah, so this is this is something that they've got some. Uh, I guess there have been some promotional materials that that have um, leaked. Uh, they've got two characters featured in the document, including the main protagonist Arthur Morgan. Um, it was corroborated by official screenshots released by Rockstar. Uh, one character is Dutch, uh, the leader of Dutch's gang, and uh, the other appears to be Arthur Morgan. And these are. Both pictures that they had already released on their website. So, with the information that leaked, it, they're using that as a way of corroborating the story uh, that this stuff is in fact legitimate. Um, so there is a, a battle royale type of uh, feature that's going to be in Red Dead Redemption That'll Two be online. The part, yeah, they're online um, piece. Right. Which I mean, it makes sense that they would be ready to go with an online. The way that Grand Theft Auto's online has oh. been successful and is continuing to make oh, yeah. money. Oh, yeah. Um, it, it, an un, unreasonable amount of money. Like, <laughs> w- we probably will never get another real proper uh, Grand Theft Auto game for I a long time. I don't think there's, a, there's no reason for it. Uh, we'll get for them. soon. For them, you're right. For them, there isn't. I don't think, I think it's a long ways off because there is, it's so profitable still right now. That there's no point in putting the resources into it. Um, I mean, for for just the single player story, th- yeah. with the rate that they're making money on that. Um, but they they have said that uh, it remains unknown whether Battle Royale will operate in a similar fashion to PUBG or Fortnite. Um, but they said that you know obviously the popularity of those two, it's it's a no brainer here. Um, Revive and Survive is going to be a mode that will pit two teams against each other as they try to stay alive. You'll have a limited amount of time to revive your teammates before they're eliminated. And then there is a money grab that will feature two teams fighting to produce bags of money in central location. You're expected to collect and return them to your base as quickly as possible. 
Um, it also states that players will be able to explore freely like they did in GTA Online, although it will supposedly provide far more depth than Rockstar's previous online efforts. Uh, they said, for example, NPCs will decorate storefronts with amenities and pack things away once night comes. Uh, frequent rewards will be handed out to players for completing certain tasks. These might range from traveling to a certain distance to murdering an enemy using a bow from 100 meters away. That, um, that could add an interesting little twist yeah, to the yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Well, well, I, I'll, I'll bet the, the, the train actually runs the whole time because it's like it was, that was one of the disappointments of online was the train didn't run. And so you, I mean, and that was just been a fun little thing to do is just to ride around the train and yeah. shoot at people and, you know, whatever. Right. <laughs> so they, they did say that apartments from GTA Online will return in the form of tents, which can be owned and upgraded by players. I'm guessing at some point it would be more than just tents. You probably I would hope can so. yeah. move into a saloon and live upstairs yeah. or something. That'd be cool. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. It also says that there will be a number of shops and NPCs which can provide the player with equipment and missions. Uh, free events can be organized outside of standard playlists like spontaneous treasure hunts and death matches. Um, the development notes claim that a companion app is in the works to launch alongside Red Dead 2. Um, that would make sense. Yeah. I mean, that's like the go-to thing for these games. They said alongside social elements, it'll include a poker mini game of sorts. Um, you'll allegedly be able to partake in a variety of activities across the world of uh, Red Dead, such as gold mining, fishing, herding, and an assortment of weapons if, challenges. If you're saying the app is going to have a mini game potentially, uh, potentially, I uh, could like see a, a that being game. interesting. If that then turns into in-game currency or something to that effect, That'd be kind so of cool. when yeah, you're not playing be. the game, you can. <laughs> Help earn your game, your, earn or, yeah, some, exactly. Some currency or that, buy it that way. Directly. That actually could be interesting. That could keep yeah. people tied into the game, even and when they're when they're at work on the toilet. Yeah, mm-hmm. on the toilet was what I was going to say. But yeah, um, anyway. yeah. So it, it also said that with new gameplay, there there will be some uh, new mechanics. I mean, it sounds like there's going to be a lot of of general stuff that is going to be carried over uh, from the original game to this one um they said that there will be um again npcs including general store owners gunsmiths and undertakers uh you could play gambling there's a slums market that will apparently be a method of procuring uh, equipment at a reduced price um and they'll be cycling on day night cycle too Uh, they said vehicles in the game will include mine carts hand carts and horse-drawn carriages um there's going to be railway trains uh, available as a way to transport across open world, as well as um, they, they they said that there's going to be like horsemanship challenges. Um, sounds like they've got like plants and herbs that you can collect, just like you could in the first one. I'm guessing skin horses. I'm guessing you probably have challenges with hunting and and whatnot. The sound. Um, yeah, yeah, that nasty sound. <laughs> Uh, they're also going to have fishing, um, which seems to be in depth with the selection of baits and tackles available for purchase. Um, you can even buy a can of worms. So that was something that they didn't have in the last game, correct? Uh, fishing? Fishing. Yeah, they didn't have that, yeah. So. And that's um, shooting fish. Right. <laughs> I suppose um, you could throw dynamite in the water. Too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Uh, that would be say interesting that if that was a way of fishing, but then you ruin all of your catch. <laughs> right. You, you don't get anything. You just blow a bunch of dirt and water everywhere. <laughs> um, it does say that it'll have a option to play it both main campaign and multiplayer in first person. Um, Which I think is really weird to do, especially for like a Western. That seems Why is that? I don't know. I, I guess that one Western game turned out to be really good. It was, I don't know. It, here's, here's the, I mean, the, the reason that that doesn't surprise me at all is because the first, GTA. the first game... Um, or yeah, GTA they they did that and it's worked. Fan- I mean, it works. It's, it's really perfectly cool fine. in GTA. I'm not complaining. I'm just kind of surprised that they bothered putting the effort into doing it. But if they've already kind of figured out how to do that in a, in a way, why not put it into this? Some people because yeah. it still play. takes a lot of work to do though. It's but not just something that you just what, throw in there. What though. that tells me is that playing online there is a they're there expecting is this to be a long term that are playing online, that are playing it in first person, Yeah. Um, that they they expect that, that their players 
who will be picking this up will probably be playing and want to play in first person as well. And will play that yeah. much that it makes it worth it. Um, yeah, other, other than that... It's the I only mean, way I play PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> well, PUBG is different, though. I don't know. Yeah. Not in Battle what, Royale mode! What, what is the reason that you would think that, that it should have... Or it should have to be third person and not first it's just, person. It's it's, it's more just a just, game choice, I think. It's yeah, but it's uh, just westerns typically don't lend themselves as well to because mostly uh, a lot of the guns, uh, some of them didn't have very good iron sights, um, and it just doesn't really go. It with would be the interesting to see how they do style. the the. Because I mean, they'll have yeah. sights. They'll be kind of weird though, unless they like tinker with them a bit. Um, but I mean, it's I'm I'm glad they will. I think it'll be really cool. I'll probably try it a bit. I just I, I mean, I guess I don't I don't see. I mean, I don't see any reason not to like. It's uh, like Air hard Sots. mode. Well, it just it's uh, just it's a lot of work. It doesn't seem like it would be a lot of work, but it is a ton of work to do. Well, I'm not saying that it's not a ton of work, but I, I mean, I, I guess for it being Western or or not, like any game that you would have in first person, there's going to be a lot of work that you're going to have to do to make that work. Yeah. So. I mean, it being a Western, sure, it's gonna look. It may look a little funky, but I mean, they they can make it work. They they've done it with modern guns. There's no reason that you can't do it. No. With other with other types of guns, and and still I, make yeah. it a good visual experience for players. I'm not saying it won't work. I'm just saying it 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 won't. It's it's not something that would be expected from it. It's yeah. it's not something that uh, they're not. I mean, it's it's not a PUBG game. It's not something where it's just sure. like, well, if you don't have pu- first person mode, well, it's not well, a real I, I shooting think, game. I think yeah. from the the so. fact that that people wanted to have that first person experience in Grand Theft Auto, yeah, and having that experience in Grand Theft Auto, that even though it wasn't my preferred way of playing it, when it changed I when the I game played with enough it, that it was interesting, it was fun. And yeah. it was it was a, a blast. The people that really are into that are going to want to play this, and it doesn't matter that the sites may look a little off or whatnot. the The fact that they've got enough people that enjoyed that and enjoy that immersion of feeling like you are a the little character. more sucked into the yeah. character yeah. Yeah. than you are when you're watching it in third person, I think, is the reason that it makes it completely worth it to to put it in there, especially since. Their history is they put it into the the Grand Theft Auto game, and this is, for I mean all intents and purposes, this is uh, the Grand Theft Station wagon. Yeah, exactly. It's it's Grand Theft yeah, in the I Wild suppose. West. So yeah, it's very similar. All right, the next one. It just needs to be October already. Come, that's right. <laughs> Comes from Gamespot. Metal Gear Solid 5's secret cutscene triggered early, and Konami doesn't know why. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't, <laughs> what? I don't know I thought why. That was, don't laugh at me. <laughs> I just, which, <laughs> I'm not sure. I know which cutscene this this even was. Well, I can, Trevor. I, so what the fill what, us in. Fill um, us in. So in, in uh, Metal Gear Solid Online, uh, you, uh, if you don't remember, that you could build your own mother base and people can invade right. you and stuff. And part of that was you could build nukes. Uh, mm-hmm. For like a certain amount of deterrence, um, but uh, Ko- uh, Kojima r- uh, revealed early on that uh, if the whole world or, or if any anybody on a specific platform managed to make to, like no nukes, there were no nukes, they all disarmed, then there would be the secret cutscene that played, and you know of course that never happened. But however, uh, on Steam uh, just last week, it uh, played anyway for some reason that nobody really knows. And, like, uh, just randomly in a just, game? Or? Just randomly. I mean, like I, it happened to enough people that it was noticed? or what, I, I think mean, it happened to pretty much everybody who's still playing it. Oh, so it was like, an, like someone triggered it somehow. Yeah, something happened where it triggered it, and so it, it has this cutscene, and it, I don't know, it just... It says, you know, there are no nukes, blah 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 blah. blah. I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I think I've, I saw it. Why a long didn't, time why ago. didn't you, why didn't you give us the video? You can Trevor. look it up if you want. Come it, on, it, it, it's like five. It's it's Metal Gear Solid, so it's over long. Oh yeah, it's a trail. <laughs> yeah, so, so look for so that. So if you want to go look show. up for it, it's 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 out somewhere. I saw it a long time ago. It's it's just interesting. It looks like it was but, in the story. Yeah, could, could, wow, that would have been so Konami hard for you to do. <laughs> would would you like <laughs> me to like to waste five minutes of the show watching a cutscene that is? I mean, we've talked for the sh- we've talked about it for five minutes, Trevor. 
Well, then this is a pop show, nuclear weapon, not a watch show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. Kyle's gonna watch it, and he's gonna tell us what's happening. Wrong. All right. Okay. Wrong. All right. Well, that is very Metal Gear. Very Metal Gear. Yeah. Honestly, so I didn't even really know what was going on with Metal Gear through a large chunk of that story. And most there people was... don't. <laughs> so, I mean, the fact that there was a cut scene that didn't make sense. Go figure. Yeah. I'm 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 shocked. Yeah. No. So. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, yeah, I you'd have like to look I, it up I, to see this one. So, was this was this before the the end of the game? No, it never happened. Oh, it just never. It was it was a cutscene that would not play unless everybody disarmed on a certain platform. And so it was a total. Konjima put it out, you know, totally expecting nobody would ever see it. You know, naturally, I guess. So but, uh, I'm waiting to find out in the future, in a week or two or whatever, when someone says someone hacked it. You know. Someone Probably found it was the on trigger Steam. code. It was on a PC, so and it, and push the button. Something happened, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or change the code or whatever. Interesting. Uh, okay. It says that as of September first, two thousand seventeen, there were still over nine thousand eight hundred nuclear weapons on the PC server. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that didn't happen, and it never will. <laughs> I can't remember what the specific benefit of having a nuke was, but. Uh, I, I, everyone up. It was really cool because you could uh, steal people's nukes and then dismantle them if you wanted to, but it was really hard to do. So. Mm. Or you could just well, steal them and go. use them. <laughs> if you're still playing the game... Go disarm all the nukes. And save the world. Have it happen for real. <laughs> for and then get real. Death Stranding. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, Eurogamer tells us, sources, colon, this year's COD... Call of Duty is Call of Duty Black Ops 4. What? Yeah, Black Ops 4. Yeah, we need another the, uh, one. Of those. Why is that a surprise? I don't think it's a surprise. I think it's it's just the fact that it hasn't actually been announced. Oh, okay. And this is something that this multiple sources are confirming now that Black Ops 4 is the one that's in development for this year's Call of Duty games. So, um, okay. Wait, Which, is that, wait what, what was last year? Last year was World, World War II. So this makes sense, because mm -hmm. it's every other year, right? They they swap. Right. They would, well, I mean, now they have three different studios. They've got three different studios, so it makes sense that there would be something that's that's different from what the, the last one was. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's not something that I was expecting that they would stay in that forever, unless that game had done, like, unbelievably well. I wouldn't have expected them to, to go back to that in the next round and it would have been far too late in the game to try and put anything like that together anyway so yeah i just hope they go back to uh, like vietnam war stuff because that's like or like not Ooh, weird future like stuff real jungle like well it doesn't need to be they've vietnam, got the ability to really make it call of immersive. duty tropic thunder i there just you go. i love <laughs> it'll always work i loved well i did, i mean i i really really enjoyed the first one so i hope they go to more of that style Rather than this weird, like, ooh, it's got super futury stuff. It's dumb. <laughs> but yeah, Kyle, so I now I want to watch a trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops Three, <laughs> but to the soundtrack With the sound track of, of Call of Duty or Thunder. of Tropic Thunder's yes. trailer. Uh -huh. Yes. It'll, it'll fit We've along with see that game. Works. It'll fit along with that game that we came up with, where you had the. Uh, the the one sitcom sound playing while With the other the video sitcom, was, yeah yeah video. maybe we'll have to try that one we'll have to check afterwards that out. we'll check it out <laughs> there you go so if you were really looking forward to the next Call of Duty I like how unexcited you, know. you sound you probably, about it you probably, I'm gonna buy it. it I'll be the one putting the most yeah. hours into it I know this about myself you know what it's funny I actually picked up Call of Duty World War Two but I have not played it at all it yet. is so good <laughs> it did, really sure is I, I got it I'll because you guys it from you. I, yeah. there you go <laughs> I, I, I got it because you guys said it was good I just I bought it when it was I, it was like on some ridiculous sale so I was just I like, wanted to play it as well and, and play through at least the campaign part of it but yeah, it just yeah. it was unavailable and I wasn't going to go and, and buy it because I knew I wasn't going to spend 
enough time with it to justify going and buying it. So mm, yeah. I, I, it just continually was unavailable on mm-hmm. Gamefly. So I was like, whatever. I, I just guess I won't play it, or maybe I'll steal it from Trevor sometime. Yeah. There you yeah, go. You now now you have an room. option. I actually have it on disc. Like, I feel like yes. I've gotten a lot of digital ones, too. So, yeah. Well, there you go. All right. Polygon tells us more Crash Bandicoot games. Ports reportedly in the works. Wait. If they're ports, they're not more games. They're the same game. Well, I take it that there's more games and more ports. So they're basically saying, hey, guys, we still have We're Crash. still relevant. It's we still exist. Still, yeah. Was, right? I, I mean, I enjoyed the Crash games. I, I, never, mean, I yeah. never really played any Crash Bandicoot. I mean, does, does he still hold up? I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to get the remake because that's, that's a shot from the remake, and it looks like they actually put a lot of work into it. Yeah. Oh, I so it mention, said, I, I said that. Oh, of, go ahead. I, I forgot to mention I played a bit of Shadow of Colossus, and that's pretty cool, too. Uh, they did an incredible job remaking the cinematography, is really cool. I don't, see, and part of my problem is I don't know the original at all, so I don't know if they added that and all. But anyhow, that's, that's not the topic. But I, uh, yeah, I, I played a, a lot of Crash Bandicoot Warped a long time ago. I remember liking it. I don't, it was a long time ago, though. So. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's been a long time since I've played any of these, but uh, I mean, I, I liked the games. Yeah, yeah. It's, it sounds like according to a spring edition of licensing trade publications, uh, licensing source book Europe, uh, Activision has a plan in place for more Crash Bandicoot that apparently includes a port of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for Switch and PC due oh. sometime this year, um, which it was a, a hit last year on PlayStation 4. Huh. Um, I think that the question is... Why not on Xbox? It sounds like so far the only it's only been on PlayStation. Yeah. Um, they haven't really clarified a whole lot, but it sounds like what what this is is potentially going to uh, Switch and PC. If this it'll is, it'll be is really accurate. interesting that's, to play it on Switch. I think. Yeah, that's what I I would really like to get that because hmm. I, I I thought about picking that for PlayStation, but if it comes out for Switch, I would think about that. Yeah, so. yeah that makes sense. Hmm. Um, that makes sense. So. There's there's animals we, that are just we have a roaming the studio. studio dog. There's a different yeah. studio dog that just wandered through here, and it was this is not one that's con- gonna jump in your lap. It confused no. me immensely. It, yeah, I was like, um, <laughs> wait, it's like what is that's not that's not who I expected walking around the corner. So, all right. Um, oh, 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 it was, oh, it was oh, just, oh, it was just Eric. Oh, Eric is the studio. D- wait, what? Kuiper's out. Uh, okay. Oh no. Oh, hi, hi Eric. Did I miss anything? Yeah. Uh, Did I miss anything? Uh, Bit, the yeah. news. Did I miss everything? Yeah, pretty much everything. The, I mean, I think there's something that's still going to happen. You Trevor can, wants you, to tell you about. Yeah. You came back in just in time for me to. Oh, good. So I didn't want to just be on me. I didn't. I didn't want to miss the Monster Hunter tips. <laughs> nice. Well, you're you're just in luck. Oh, good. Was that what you were doing? Yeah. Get your oven mitts on. It's time for Jeremy's Hot Tips. Trevor's. It's <laughs> Trevor's. Oh, Trevor's, Trevor's, Trevor's Hot Tips. Hi there. I have some hot tips for you for Monster Hunter. Um, my first is, did you know you can capture monsters alive? And that's I learned that. Any of the normal big monsters. I don't think you can take the small monsters alive. But... So the way you do this, uh, you have to combine, you have to use, uh, build some traps. As you can see on the left side of uh, your screen, uh, you've got, they've got a shock trap, a pitfall trap, and then you need some trank bombs. And so a uh, shock trap, uh, with all the traps, you have to buy a trap tool from the guy at the, the, the shop guy. And shock then you can guy. combine different things. The shock trap is with a thunder bug or thunder beetle. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, pitfall trap is a net which you make with web and ivy which yeah so if you see those things out in the wild pick them up and then so what you do is you beat a monster to death <laughs> well not to death you beat it you beat it until he's a uh, submission he's uh you'll see him he's limping a whole bunch you know like it's very obvious and uh sometimes if it doesn't seem like it always does it'll display on the mini map he'll have a little blinking skull that will show up and so that means you can trap him and so you'll uh Lay the trap down, get him stuck in it, and then you throw a couple of bombs down, and then it's captured. 
So yeah, that's it's nice to do because I think you get more points, and you get uh, more rewards from it. So yeah, something to keep in mind. Can you kill it in captivity? No, you oh. can't kill it. Uh, well, and it's really weird because technically you capture it, and then they release it, but you, somehow you get a bunch of monster parts. So just don't ask why or how, I guess. But uh, so yes, the next part is you can actually capture little tiny things and keep them as pets in your room. And so uh, what you do is you always have a capture net. It's just a little thing you select it on the little toolbar. Uh, you'll press square or X if you're playing on Xbox. And then you can just shoot it, and then you'll capture little animals. So, And then you can go talk to your uh, housekeeper person. I can't remember that. The little cat that keeps your house. And then you can just place them around your room. So that's kind of cool. So you, you can just have basically a, a whole farm in your... Yeah, basically. Okay. Well, and then also with your uh, upgraded room, you also get a uh, uh, aquarium, too. And you just capture the fish with a fishing rod. I didn't mention that because I figured it was fairly obvious. But <laughs> oh, so you can, you can keep the fish, too. Yeah, you can keep the fish, too. Um, uh, also, I have for you some people that you should know. Because it's it's not very obvious again. First one, uh, so this is a view from right when you spawn in, usually at the uh, Astera, your little research, the, the little base thingy. Um, so that the arrow, you can't really see him very well, but he's uh, right by a pile of books and stuff. He's the research guy. You want to talk to him. I didn't realize you wanted to talk to him because all the time when you're tracking these monsters and stuff, you can actually learn more about them, and you can learn their weaknesses, and you're able to track them better. And so you want to go talk to that guy after every hunt, because then you can track monsters better, yeah, and get to know their weaknesses. Um, also, bounties are very important, because then you can upgrade your armor. You get the armor, uh, armor spheres and stuff. So go talk to those three people right there. It doesn't matter which one. Talk to them, get the bounties, and then you can get those armor spheres. Wait, three. I see two. There's three of them. Uh, there's one little guy in the seat, and then there's two guys two people actually one of them's a lady another one's a guy yes so yeah sexist do that though the the last very specific tip i have for you is to save don't forget to save it's super annoying i have several times i just leave the game after i've done a bunch of upgrading at the home hub and then <laughs> come to come back to it and then i have not saved and so i have to do all that stuff over again and remember what i did it's just a minor thing, but just uh, something to do before you sign off from the hub world. It's nice because then you don't get annoyed like I did. But then I just have some other uh, spe uh, little less specific tips, uh, kind of general stuff. Uh, don't forget to manage your stamina. Try and keep a uh, little tiny thing left so you can always dodge. Prioritize defense and uh, evasion instead of attacking. Uh, you're better off... You're no help for anybody dead. So don't try and attack when you think you shouldn't. Uh, I The other tip I have is try and learn two different weapons. Specifically, try and learn a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. And try it, like, just try to pick stuff that you like. Um, the the training area is really helpful for that. So you can kind of learn how the weapons work, you know, what, the, what they're supposed to do. Um... And then also, it, it's been very helpful to help learn from others. Try and play with other people. Try and watch some YouTube videos, stuff. They'll point out different things because yeah, it doesn't really give you the questions to ask sometime. Uh, my other tip is upgrade, 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 upgrade. Do a whole bunch of upgrade. Pick up everything. Be patient, methodical. Trade guild cards with your friends because there's some stuff that comes later in the game that you can do really cool things. Um, uh, don't forget to eat before every... Uh, every hunt, uh, because that it'll give you more stamina, uh, give you different attack powers, and don't forget to just eat on the field too, because you want to keep your stamina up again. Uh, no berries are a very useful item that it's not very obvious, so you'll uh, get different status effects called blights. Um, like for instance, if you're burning, it's called fire blight instead of burning, which is really weird. But uh, that one you can just get by ro get rid of by rolling around. But like there's like also like a static one that makes it easier to stun. So if you get a no berry, that gets rid of that instantly. That's really handy. But yeah, um, another item I I found that's really uh, helpful is the flash pods. You can uh, just shoot them off your slinger thingy. It stuns them, and so it's really handy to get a nice quick attack on them. Um, 
don't forget about your supply items when you go for every mission, except for a, uh, expeditions. You will be given, be given free stuff, so that's nice. Free stuff's good stuff. Um, yeah, and then uh, uh, try and again with my pick up everything. There's there's lots of stuff you can usually unless you're using uh, the bow gun, you can ignore a lot of the the plants, unless you know. But there's like main specifically the things to pick up I found are honey, uh, bugs, and anything with a question mark, uh, like the ores, the, the bones, stuff like that. Um, the last thing I have, sorry, there's been a lot. I didn't realize how much this would be, but is go to the exclamation points. I know that seems really, like, dumb, but it's really easy to ignore them. And sometimes uh -huh. they'll give you new items, and sometimes they'll give you new quests that can upgrade, like, the the canteen and the shop and stuff. So, yeah, do that, do those um, and, and pay attention to them. So that's what I, all I have for you. To, no, <laughs> sorry, that was a lot. But I, I wanted to give a lot of things for you. So, yeah. Uh, I saw somebody ask how you get the Poogle. Um, you can find him around the camp. And if you uh, go for him, he uh, has a little thingy. It's like the cooking thing to where you just press circle at the time when he does the exclamation point. And then he'll let you pick him up and you can change his clothes and stuff. So it's kind of funny. But yeah. So, yeah. I really dislike that you you got the awesome looking Palico. Oh, and yeah. I haven't. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think your last day to get that is tomorrow. Uh, that's I won't get it. The horizon's it's not going to happen. Stuff. Yeah, you have to. If you want to get that, you got to go really quick through all the campaign stuff, or through not all of it, some of the campaign stuff till you get to the level. And then there's a little challenge mission that will that you got to do probably a couple times to get the palico. Palico, sorry. And then the mission. So yeah, that's what that's about. Yeah, I like that guy. <laughs> He looks good. One thing I learned yeah. uh, with after we traded cards last night, Trevor, is mm -hmm. that you can actually go in and edit a whole bunch of stuff about your card. Oh, yeah. So, like, you can change the background. You can change the poses, even, that your, oh, your character nice. is standing in. Oh. Um, I got a real sexy pose now. So. <laughs> oh, boy. So I learned something yep. about this game that I've never played. And I think it just reinforces everything you've all said, which is there's a lot to learn. There is a lot to yeah. learn. That's yeah. what I... I had a lot of stuff I wanted to say, and uh, it wasn't even all that I wanted to say. So, uh, I, I would like to say that I just playing it multiplayer changed the game for me completely. Like I, I finally played it with just Trevor the other night, and I was like, it took so much of the pressure off of fighting the <laughs> monsters that like I'm scared to. I was telling Kyle earlier today, I was like, I'm scared to play it alone now. I'm just like, I don't yeah. want to do it alone, even though I'll have to. I don't. You don't really have a choice sometimes, but I'm still scared. Because I will die, and it'll be sad because you only get three tries to yeah. kill a monster. It's and it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I do feel like I found a a, a weapon that I liked a little bit more last is night. Is it the bow? Uh, no, oh, it's okay. the, <laughs> the bow is it's, great. <laughs> I love it's the, the bow. it's like the staff type of thing that has the bug. Oh yeah, the, the insect yeah, lave. The, the insect lave. Oh, and it'll send the bug out. And it'll send the bug out, and like the bug can heal you, or you can have it so that it'll poison. Or do a bunch of different stuff that you can upgrade with too. So that in and of itself was pretty awesome, and it gave me a lot of a lot of different options. I think so. Yeah, that's what I think. Part of the thing is just uh, finding the weapon you like, because it's it's just I I love the way the weapons work, and but some of them use it that are just kind of you just they don't clash they they don't feel good to you, and yeah. So try and find a couple different weapons you like. So it's kind of nice to have variety. It's a, really, don't, you know? it's a really good game to just like quit your job and play it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, can I can I get uh, can I get a paycheck for just this unemployment or? check? Yeah, you can get that for a little yeah. while. Yeah, just, yeah that'll yeah. be good. Uh, free cheese. <laughs> I hear the government has good cheese. They do. <laughs> I do like I, good cheese. Trevor, I noticed that when I came in, I totally disrupted the s set. And if you look in the, you got some brick showing over there. So my bad. Yeah, stop bricking, man. Oh, sorry, don't me. look behind the curtain. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> There's no little man there is back no there about. pulling levers. And man, now I just want to play Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's. I I might go home and play that. Let's go. Let's wrap this up. Okay. We'll, <laughs> well, I think we're about Bye, there, guys. guys. <laughs> yeah. So we yeah. do have one. Uh, well, are we even going to talk about the fact that nobody sends us emails? 
We have to. You have to wait until he plays the email thing. <laughs> then yeah. you shame them. I'm just, yeah. I'm just so Patience disappointed in you guys. You have to, you have to stick to the schedule. Messages. Messages. Emails, voicemails, 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 or DMs. Or DMs. We, want we want to hear from you. From you. Mailbox yeah. number, please. number, please. It's mail it's time. Mail time. First message. message. Now is when we shame them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't you send us emails? What's wrong with you people? Say mean things. Jeremy, say mean things to people. Mean things to hey, people. Here's say, something. Say mean send things, us, dog. <laughs> send us pictures of your palico. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe not that palico. Not, not that, that palico. <laughs> from Monster uh, Hunter World. Someone in the chat tried to you weirdos. find out about your palico size <laughs> earlier. Oh. Um, there's cute. too many, yeah. too many things there. Yeah. So n- there's there's no uh, no emails. No. No. Nope. So if yeah. if you want to send us one, you can do that. You want to ask Eric why there's a dog in his lap? <laughs> you can do that in yeah. an email. You can do yeah. that in, in a voicemail or a yeah. voicemail four seven five tub call. Stop you can call us and then you can ask <laughs> why there's a co co pilot sitting here. Yeah. That's uh oh. Uh oh. You just you just made a terrible mistake. Dog gone rogue. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. It's, it'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna sit up here, I guess. Even though no, we're disappointed. No. <laughs> Stay there. Say, even Come though on. we're disappointed in all of you for not sending us emails or voicemails, there are some people that we are very thankful for. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Those are our patron peeps. Well, That's that was, right. That was really hot. That's right. These are <laughs> these are the people that keep us going week to week to week to week to week. So week. much heavy breathing <laughs> over here. There's this dog just <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm out of having breath. fun over here. Uh, but no, we really appreciate you. Uh, this uh, those uh, patrons that are at the ten dollar or higher level. Want to always make sure we give you a shout out and say thank you. Yep. They are um, co-producers. Co-producers, you guys help make it all happen. Give us a reason to get back up in the morning after we have no emails. Uh, so, <laughs> with that, yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you. 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 <laughs> yes, thank you very much. And Eric, <laughs> Eric has successfully disrupted you this are, entire you are episode. Heavily panting over there. I'm so out of breath, guys. <laughs> I ran all the way here. <laughs> I was late, but I made it. <laughs> oh man! So, did, did we you, do it? Did you guys yeah. do a good job? I, we I did heard. a great job. Okay, okay. Cool. Great job. <laughs> I feel like we did something we here. Some monsters. Something. We talked we lost about the submarine. Kuiper's ruining Subnautica. Earlier, yeah. Wait, he spoiled the ending? No, yeah. oh, no, no, no. He <laughs> just made me die because he was asking me questions, and I was excited to show him the oh. answers. Anyway, he you was guys... trying to have his hot tip session with with Kuipers, and it, yeah. it cost him. Oh, right. It yes. cost him his life. Mm. That's right. Tomorrow night, guys. Don't forget the Tubcast. The tubcast. Oh, 9 next PM. week, hundred percent less dogs tomorrow night. Yes, <laughs> next, well, next week. Maybe. Next week, we don't have a loop. No, oh, that's right. good. You know what? Mm. There's a there's a social construct that was created by evil people that makes you guilt tripped into treating Buying your significant other flowers. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. Yep. Or it's Monster Hunter Day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's much better, Trevor. Hey, so, Trevor, are you that's going fair. to be streaming? Oh yeah, you should just stream Monster Hunter. <laughs> it's it's my singles awareness day, Monster. Here we here we go. I got a great idea. See, a signal, no. Did you say singles awareness? Yeah. yeah. Singles yeah. This awareness is it. Day, this huh? is it. It's we're, we we. This would be a great opportunity for you, you know, we'll publish your 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 gamer name, although people can find it if they know where to look. <laughs> oh uh, our, and we'll just say, hey, if heads. you'd like a date with Trevor to do some online monster hunting, this <laughs> yeah. is the time and place. You this is a great you can idea. You have a Valentine's date with Trevor. That's right. On the internet. <laughs> I love this idea. While he hunts some monsters. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. yeah. We'll see. <laughs> it sounds like we're we're pretty much like ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure that's gonna happen. <laughs> so see, Trevi is on board with this Monster Hunter time. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, Trevor, the people want it next you Wednesday. Should, watch Trevor next Wednesday <laughs> stream Monster Hunter. Our that's Shadow right. of the Colossus, the real Monster Hunter. Uh, I'm just yeah, kidding. either of them. <laughs> yeah. 
Next, next. Trevor's feeling pressured now. He's like, I thought I had a night off. I, don't no. know. I thought I was going to do stuff. Uh, Jolliver <laughs> says that that the, his wife and he will take that date as well. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> Trevor, you've already got people lining up for this for this uh, date. Even a married with you. couple. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. Monster. Uh, okay, well. so Jolliver's daughter's too too young to be going on dates though, so uh, yeah. she won't be joining. Good call. Good yeah, good call. Is she not in her nineties? <laughs> <laughs> like a Benjamin Button situation. That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, I think we did it, guys. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, I was so glad to be here and do yeah. all the show stuff yeah. with you. Yeah. I'm so glad I could help. I just hope that you can start breathing better. I know it's true. Yeah. I, I catch my breath here. Eventually. Catch your breath. Or maybe or maybe, maybe my your dog will catch your breath. My dog. Or something. But. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.